running. Tonight, we have a look at the Democratic candidates. Rowan Hardman has been following this race. Rowan, there are a total of seven candidates running for the seat that was left open by Senator Drew Springer after announcing last year he would not run for re-election. We're starting with Michael Braxton, senior, who is a pastor and he wants to improve the life and safety of men, women, and children. Next, we have Dale Frey. Dale, he is an advocate for a better health care system and is a strong supporter for our local schools. Then we have Matthew McGee. McGee, who works as a mechanic, he wants to give a, the working class the voice they deserve. Early voting is less than a week away. And Texas Senate District 30 is stacked with a large number of running candidates. I reached out to the Democratic candidates for the race. Braxton, Frey, and McGee. And asked them all about how they would improve the economy. As I've been traveling over my, my 10 counties, 11 counties, one way that I will improve is that TI is coming in. And TI is often uh, so many... Uh, jobs and I would like to carry it all the way across um, my district because Wichita Falls, Collins County, and Grayson County is booming. Yeah, there's several different um, different things we, we need to focus on with the economy. Uh, first of all, we need to make Texas a, a welcoming place that people want to to live in and to be. And so that means improving the quality of life uh, because if, if nobody wants to live here, then our, our economy is going to suffer. Uh, so that, that means uh, several things. It means supporting our infrastructure, which means fixing our broken power grid. It means... So Texas is already pretty good at attracting businesses. What I'm experiencing in the business I work for and seeing in the news is that we're not attracting the workers we need. And the way it's going, we're quickly getting to the point where, not, where we can't retain the workers we do have, especially on the lower spectrum. So I'd kind of focus... I, I'd like to focus that question to let's make this a more worker friendly state. I also asked the candidates about their stance on education. My stance on education, and I'm glad to, that you asked me this one, is that education is so important uh, for our young people today, our Gen X, Gen X, Y, and Z. And education is really important. But one thing that we have to look at is that everybody can't do a four year degree. There is a push for this thing called the school voucher program. Sometimes it's called ESAs. And look, I understand the concept of school choice. I understand that the the, con the word school choice sounds attractive, but we need to make sure that we do not kill the choice of public schooling. So I'd, I'd like to see the state put more grants, more funding down that that we're getting from uh, that we're getting from the, the corporate tax base, et cetera, not just the residential taxes that the local taxes. We need to we need to put money in from the state to get our schools up to livable conditions. I, I'm early voting gets underway Tuesday, February twentieth. Stick with News Channel Six while we keep an eye on the race for Texas Senate District Thirty during this election season. Roman Hardman, News Channel Six.